So, and by the way, guys, I mean, normally a very heartless person wouldn't see the sorrow in this. Um, but, you know, there's all kinds of horrible, sorrowful things in this world. You see, my mom, um, as we've already established, I've been aching for her. And as a little girl. It's just fucking sad. I'm grateful it never happened to me. It's sad. Because that schizophrenia is, I believe it's considered the worst mental illness. Worst of the bunch. If not, it's one of the worst. I think it's considered the worst, though. My mom didn't ask for that shit, people, and it's heartbreaking. From what she said to me a couple hours over, over the phone, on the phone, a couple hours ago, over the phone, is the same thing she says every time. Not the exact words, but close enough. It's what she always says. I'm not, she's in variations in the past. Remember, I've been dealing with this forever. I'm not going to wind up in the hospital again. A couple hours over the phone, I'm going to make sure I don't wind up in the hospital again. I said, Mama, I said it very gently. Same thing my cousin said to her, you know, before. Um, it doesn't have to even be a mental hospital, Mama. At your age, you have to have a health care proxy and somebody. You have to have somebody appointed your health care proxy with your history of mental illness. And with your age, you have to have somebody appointed your health care proxy and somebody appointed who can pay your bills and stuff if you're in the hospital, you know, so it's very childish to say, I'm going to, she always says, I'm going to make sure, that's what she said, I'm going to make sure I never wind up in the hospital again. Mama, you've been dealing with this for 36 years. You never plan it. My mother didn't ask for this fucking illness, people. Okay? I need to make that perfectly clear. And, I mean, obviously it's a given. It's not a, I mean, but she didn't, and... It's been her burden to bear for all these, all her entire life, practically half her life. And it's just sad because now, for her age, she's on way too many, eight, eight, as far as I'm concerned, way too much, too heavy a dosage of atypical, psycho, you know, antipsychotics. Um, and they're issued the strongest black box warning by the FDA. She's nearing 70. Um, I don't know how much longer she'll be around. I don't know. Nobody knows that, of course, but... I'm not going to be... calling her and talking to her when she's at auntie's. Um, but if there was ever some kind of emergency where she desperately had to talk to me because remember I changed my phone number and I won't be calling her I'm still calling her now because she's not with auntie she, um, she knows she can always reach me via Joe you know He won't give her my phone number, of course. But he'll pass a message along. Of course, he's known her. Look, we don't sit for 20 years. And he does feel bad for her and whatnot, but the recent things over the past almost a year or whatnot, and when she was throwing me under the bus and et cetera, et cetera, makes him not you know, not like her very much, and because he says a lot of people, there are a lot of people have mental illness and they don't throw their children under the bus the way my mother does to me. Because I was endlessly saying to him in emails, you know, on the phone, you know, well, it's her illness, she can't, you know, you can't condemn her. Her illness causes her to use me, always want to blame me for everything and whatnot, and, you know, Defending her like I've been doing forever. Um, but with these latest things regarding how close it came to it being how it should be, with my mom pet protected, you know, from her shelf, from whatever might happen if she gets sick, but she wants to give all her money away or, or buy stuff on the 
endlessly on the infomercials or, you know what I mean, but whatever. With my mom protected and with me, her only child protected. It's how it would have been with the trust, okay? With everything in a living trust. Um, and now I hear her, which I know is coming from Auntie. It doesn't matter anyway, because I've already kissed my right flowers and goodbye, and I'm not like, oh shit. Um, I never really counted on it anyway, you know, but you can't put a mobile home in a living trust. Of course you can, Mom. Who told you that, Auntie? I said, who told you that, Auntie? No, I just figured. No, you didn't come up with that on your own. And cousin already told you, you can put everything in a, in a, in a trust. Okay. And even before she had written the regular trust, again, that was going to be her, it wasn't just her being trustee, it was her and uncle. Um, even before she had written regular, she apparently had emailed the thing just for the house. Remember that all the shit hit the fan, she's like, God, you guys... And could have at least, your mom could have at least signed that, you know, and then the house would have been in a living trust and whatnot, but in the end, all this would have happened and my mom would have reverted it back anyway, so, whatever. Want to see Omar have apple? I'm going to take his leash off. Omar. Omar loves apple. Omar doesn't get out of apple very often because a lot of times I take apples with me. Because I don't feel like eating them here or other stuff here. I take apples with me when I leave for the day or whatever. But come here. Apple, come on. Come on. Come on, Omar. Apple. Maybe he's full from the big thing of chicken and vegetables I gave him because I found it in the freezer when I was thawing out my suit. But as we've established out here numerous times, normally the bottomless pet, I don't think he's full. He's the type of dog he'd eat till he puked. We've never you know, tested that theory, but I believe it. Omar, apple! Look, come on. Come on. That's a first. You don't want it? I'm not hand delivering it to you. I did that once just to be nice. I did that just now to be nice, but I'm not giving you a hand delivering anymore. So, you don't get to have it? Mmm. Mmm. It's exceptionally good, too. Apples are a crap too, just like oranges. This apple is an organic one. Gala. From Shop and Shop. And it's very... Sweet. It's good. Mmm. Yum. I haven't even left yet, but I'm going to be leaving really late, so. I had shit to do. I told you to clean up. Um, all my sweaters, because I left them out. Not yet, not in the torrential downpour yesterday, but the other downpour the other day. Um, so, they had dried a little bit in the sun, like one day, and then it poured out on them. And then, I have them on towels on the back deck, and then the towels were all frozen together. The the sweaters had frostbite on them. This is one of them. Um, they had frost, I mean, not, fr not frost, but they had frost on them, so I had to wash them all again. Um, I had to hang them up. Um, I had stuff I had to do. I remember I had to wash the sneakers that had the dog crap on them. I'm wearing my backup sneakers. I didn't find my license. It's not good. I'll have to look real carefully through all those papers again. Otherwise, I don't know where the fuck my license is. Unless, again, people, remember I put all that stuff into my storage unit. I might have accidentally put the license the day that I put all this stuff in my storage unit. 
I guess I'm gonna have to go back to my storage unit, which is okay because remember I'm, I get everything almost out of here that's mine, so I can leave like at a moment's notice if I had to, you know. Um, I still have more shampoo of that when I bought it once on sale. The Avalon Organics to put my storage unit anyway, so. Yeah, if I don't find my license, I'm going to have to check my storage unit, and I would, which I would do, because I know where I put all the... I would do that and look through all the papers and whatnot before I would go my new license, you know. Yeah, I walked alone for only 20 instead of 30 minutes. It's kind of a lazy day for me. Just, I'm glad I didn't drink. I would have liked to get, I always like to get to the library earlier though, but I had a shit I had to do, I had to clean. Yeah, and I'm not looking forward to going out there because after yesterday I was out in the pouring rain and that'll be the same damn thing today. At least the baby won't. Yeah, he must be full. He would never not come over here if I'm eating, so. And yeah, sure enough, my minute walk, he went a good, good, good poo poo. Probably because of the vegetables and everything he had. <laughs> You know what, under these miserable circumstances, I might actually take the bus to the mall, I mean to the library, rather than walk. Obviously, you know I'll have to walk part way, but at least I want to walk full way. I might do that. I definitely might do that. I think I will. I think I'll just, I'll take the bus to the library instead of walking. It'll be less distance off the walk on the parade. I was um, lazy and tempted not to go at all. I usually don't lay around to nothing. I created videos and I also cleaned up. I hung up my sweaters, washed my sneakers at a dog, crap and mud on them, emptied the dishwasher, loaded up the dishwasher, washed whatever dishes were in the sink, wiped down the counters, swept the kitchen floor, scrubbed down the bathroom floor where the poo poo was because when he poop in the bathroom and he doesn't like being in there, he winds up stepping in it and mushing it into the floor, but at least it's not on the rug, right? I put like five sheets in there all over the place and I periodically wash them. I don't let it just, you know, I periodically wash them. I don't wash them dry them every day, but every few days I do. And I have to pick them all up and make sure, you know, I wash down, you know, where the poo poo is, pick it up the poo poo. And if it's, it's, he stepped in, I have to make sure there's no poo poo up in the sheets. And I, you know, wash where he's, where it's gone mushed into the floor before we start the next day of having him in the bathroom. But today he won't be in there for a few 
few hours. in Chicago for the past two months on my hobby too. Me too, honey. Me too, little boy. Mm. I was going to eat two apples, but I think I'll just eat one. To finish the sunflower seed butter. Um, I'm tempted to just not with all, but I'm I know that I'm more depressed than ever and that you know I, I need to go to the library I'd rather just stay here and do nothing and no. Stay here and be tormented by my own thoughts. That's why they tell people when they're depressed. You def and even they say exercise can help with depression. You definitely should not just sit in the house. All that does is allow your thoughts to, you know, torment you and cause you to be more depressed. My YouTube stuff gives me a measure of happiness. Especially now with Selena because she posts so many comments, I know. I can always look forward to reading a shitload of comments from her. And I like that. Because she just has intelligent things to say, you know what I mean? And she comments on all my videos, and she has, you know, really insightful, you know, things to say, and it's cool. Not that she's the only one, I'm just pointing out that she leaves a shitload of comments. <laughs> She must have a lot of time on her hands, like me. She leaves a shitload of comments, okay? Um, a lot of them are very short, but again, they help me feel like, you know, I'm not so alone. All the comments. Karen and Tuck Salad or Trouble, whatever, leave a, leave a lot of really good comments as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm leaving so late too because I spoke with my mother for quite a while. Yeah. Pretty soon she's going to be with Auntie, so. Change my phone number on purpose. We spoke a lot, a lot of things, including about the post office thing. Oh, no, the 
probably not going to honor that if it's going to be the same thing that was reported as fraud going to the same address, you know. My mom forgets everything. She didn't, I don't think she ever really understood that auntie was reported by me for bank fraud and mail fraud. Obviously she never understood me because I got the message, you know, about I don't know why, you know, my mom's words, I don't know that the rent checks both at November, December had bounced. I don't know why that happened. I mean, I was all panicked, you know, and I don't know why. Um, what's wrong with you? I mean, you don't know why I told you all about the, the fraud and whatnot. And the thing with the mail, they just walked in and did a change of address. And the guy at the front desk, whoever, whoever was at the front desk doesn't know. I said, did you speak to a manager? No, I spoke, I tried to show my license, and the person, the guy was like, that's not necessary, you know, we don't care where the mail goes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but when the manager sees the same damn thing on it, he's going to toss it in the garbage. I said, Mommy, better call and make sure, because they told me, they promised me, because otherwise, if they weren't, if another change of address came in, and it was this, going to the same thing, it would be the same thing. I said, what's to stop that from happening? And he's like, it won't happen because it's marked in the system and it'll go, we won't honor it, we'll just throw it away if another change of address comes in. My mom forget, remembers none of this. I told her she, only she can get her mail. I'd already told her she forgets. She goes in there with Auntie just to fill out the change of address, so Auntie helped to fill the change of address. Nobody knew probably who Auntie was. Nobody, mom didn't talk to the manager, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'm like, Mom, your mail has been held for almost a month there. I highly doubt they're going to just send all that mail to the same damn address that was reported for fraud. I said, I should call them. She's lucky I even told her that. I could have just not told her and had her not get her mail, but I, I want her to get her mail. I, I thought she would, if she was going to the bank, she would go in and get the, in the same city. She'd go and get her mail, too, but she didn't. She didn't get her mail. And when I'm telling her, she doesn't understand anything, people. It's very frustrating. I said, Mom, did you get your mail at the post office since you were here? No, I filled out a change of address. You know, it's all going to take place, blah, 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 blah. I said, Mom, besides the fact that change of address takes a week, they're not going to honor it, number two. Number three, you have a month's worth of mail sitting in the post office. You need to go get it. They're, she's like, well, they'll probably forward that. Yeah. I don't even think they're going to honor that, that thing you filled out. They're not even, they're going to throw it in the garbage, Mom. That's what they're supposed to do. That was their instructions from their big honchos, okay? And then I reported on D2. My mom just is so out of it. Very, very sad. Like today, I don't really feel like going to the library. That means I lose a day of uploading videos. Plus, I need to check and see if anyone has responded to my roommate ad thing. Oh my gizmo from Gremlins. Gizmo. Gizmo was cute as all fuck. I liked Gizmo. Because Gizmo caused havoc to happen. It wasn't Gizmo's fault. It wasn't Gizmo's fault. It's a human being's fault. Being careless and negligent. Gizmo's just a cutie pie, just like you, a cutie pie.
I'm in danger when I lie here. But in the end, I can come home tonight and go to bed. Why do I want to sleep now, you know? I need to go do something, like library, upload my videos, connect with my friends. My online friends. Online friends. Right? Online friends. Mama's lonely. Mama's lonely. Mama's lonely. You're not enough. Contrary to what you might think, or contrary to what you would like to think, you're not enough. Not even remotely enough. If you were enough, Mama would just sit at home all day long with you. I sit in my home, but wherever I live, you know, I'll call it home anyway. So Mama would just sit here in Grandma's home all day long with you if you were enough. But you're not. You're not. Too bad. <laughs> Like I said, just as would be the case with any of you guys, the longer I lay on that bed, I just won't want to go out because it's not like a nice sunny summer day when I'm in my element, when I love it, when I look forward to going for a walk, when I blast my music in my ear. Today's miserable, just like yesterday. Not as bad, but still. I dealt with it yesterday. 